everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your BOSU cardio workout. So in this workout, we will be using the BOSU ball and doing exercises to both get your heart rate up for cardio, as well as strengthen and tone your muscles. All you need for this workout is a BOSU ball. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're just gonna start behind your BOSU and just start with a little march. Roll those shoulders to the front and to the back. So I do wanna point out that the BOSU is a balance tool. It's great for working your core, great for improving your balance, stability, flexibility, mobility, one more time. However, I will give you lots of options. And if at any point you don't feel comfortable with something or you feel off balance, you can take everything that we're doing to the floor. Let's take it out and just side to side, just roll through those shoulders leaning side lunge and then just little taps on top so you do what's best for you i will give you both low impact and high impact options we won't go very long our goal is just to get our heart rate up and get moving right so keep it here and then let's take it let's just step it up step it down and actually my bosun could use a little bit of air so i hope that you have more <laughs> in yours. Yours should look a little tighter, right? But still works. You want it to be blown up enough, but a little bit of give so you can really get that resistance. All right, one more. And then let's roll through those hips. So everything we do, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and we're gonna start with just up and down, right? So we're here, breathing into it. You, what you can do if you start to feel off balance is have a hand on a wall or the back of a chair, looking like this. I'll slide mine over, just tap it up and down. That gives you a little bit of extra balance if it's feeling like too much for you. Or again, just take it to the floor. You can alternate between moves whatever you need for you. Let's go 10 more seconds, just up and down for three, two, and one. Good, and relax. Roll those shoulders, breathe for a second, and we're just gonna do those little taps. I'm gonna give you a few options. We're gonna start with that, and then if you want, we'll take it to a little bit of a jump. Here we go. Join me here, and taps arms and taps over your head. Then if you want, you can take it to a little bit of that soccer tap with or without the hands or keep it low impact here. I'm gonna keep it low impact here or I might go back and forth. Remember that's always an option in terms of low impact for high impact. As you can tell, low impact does not mean low intensity, but you can always go back and forth. So, we got about 10 seconds, so I'm gonna push through with a little bit higher impact. Keep breathing for four, three, two, and relax. Tap it out, roll those shoulders, right? So now we're just going to tap and tap, side to side. Join me here, starting in three, two, one. So touch the BOSU, touch it down, touch, good. So again, you can keep it low impact with just a little tap and breathe, or really jump it out just a little bit. You can get a little lower to get those legs working, breathe, or stay higher if you need to. Got about just about 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing for four, three, two, and relax. Have it all right. How are we feeling? Now we're gonna go to a little bit of legs. So we're gonna put one foot up, grab onto the wall if you need to, or a chair or something with balance. Squat it down, tap it up. Woo! Right, just like that, here we go. Tap and tap. So a little bit of burn for that leg. We're moving laterally to the side. 
We're gonna get both sides and breathe. Good. And breathe. So a little burn in that leg, really push into the heel. If you need to, grab onto the wall. That works too. Squat it down, tap it up. Notice I'm never coming all the way up. I'm keeping that bend in the leg, which is gonna help with balance. And breathe. Good. There we go. Four, three, two, one. My timer just went out, so I'm gonna switch it to my watch. Catch your breath. We're gonna take it over to that other side. Breathe. So this timer might not completely line up once I edit the video. Let's go 45 other side. Tap up and down. So just low to high. You got it. push into that heel. We're here. Again, a little soft bend in that knee. We're never straightening out that knee. We're keeping it low. Keep the weight forward and breathe. Good. 15 seconds. Breathe. Push into the heel, get those legs burning. For four, three, two. Relax it down, shake it out, 15 seconds. How are we feeling? Breathe. All right, so we are going to take it over the top. So we just did side to side. Now we're stepping through, take it off. Keep it low the whole time. Join me when you're ready. Over, over, and down. This feels like too much. Just go back to those step ups that we just did. If you want a little extra, take it across. Take it across. And breathe. And breathe. There we go. Yes. 15 seconds to go. Yes. Low to high, staying low into those legs, making sure that you're breathing. For four, three, two, relax. Good, good. All right, so let's turn. This one is again a little bit of a leg burner, but it's a little harder on balance. So if you need that hand here, I'm gonna use it to show you. Step up to the front. So watch me here. Again, pushing into that heel, keeping it here. If you can, take it here. But it's tougher on balance, so if you need to be next to the wall, that's your best option is next to the wall, but you could use the back of the couch or a countertop. Just make sure it's sturdy, right? Keep breathing, keep that core pulled in tight. One arm or two, and breathe 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake that out, right? We feel that burn. Tap it out, same thing, other side, right? So we're here, core's in tight, ready. Here we go, tap and tap. If you need to flip yourself around, that's okay too. Arms up, again, watch my front leg. What I'm not doing is extending it up. And here, and here. Making sure you're breathing. Drive into that heel. Core is working all the time, so we're about halfway there. Push into the heel, leg burning, core for stability. Woo, right? 15 seconds. Never fails if I'm talking about stability or balance that I start to feel balance. Remember, with tools like the BOSU and all your other balance tools, you're supposed to feel a little off balance. Three, two, one, catch your breath, tap that out. That is part of the beauty of it. That is our core working hard. All right, so feet on either side, and we're going to just start with little taps in, tap, tap. So you're here, here, and then if you want, run it out, run it in. Again, it's a little bit of an agility drill. That feels like too much. Just do taps, here to here. But if you can, run it out. Right? Good. About half. 
halfway there. Woo! Yes. And again, you find you have to get wide. That's good for our joints. But if you feel like you're stepping on the side of that BOSU, take it back to here. I want everybody to feel safe and secure. Even if you feel a little bit off balance, I want you to feel safe. Four, three, two, and relax. Tap it out. Whoo, breathe. Roll through those shoulders. Grab that BOSU and watch me. We're going to keep it right here. Hands and up. Hands and up. Join me when you're ready. And breathe. Start with just this. And then if you want, you can take it to that burpee, right? And up, back, in, and up, and up. Also an option, walk it back, walk it up, right? Walk it back, walk it up. Five, four, you can be here, three, Two, and one, catch your breath. Ha ha ha. All right, one more, then we are grabbing some water. Flip it over, and we're gonna do the same thing, so watch me here. We're gonna pick it up in between. So start with just this, here to the chest, so we get those arms working too. Down, up, and breathe, up, Good. If you want, let's add a little burpee push-up. Here, here, here. Bring it in. Or walk it back to those knees, push up at the bottom, walk it in. And here. Any of those options will do. Breathe. We've got 10 seconds. You can just be here too. You don't feel like doing the push-up. I know it's not a strength workout. We're focusing on cardio. Everybody grab a quick sip of water. Should we do all those again? I think so. Maybe. We'll see. Catch your breath. Let's bring that ball out in front again. We're going to get a little bit more of a breather here. So just tap it out and breathe. Roll those shoulders, catch your breath. We are gonna do the same thing again with those moves, starting with just your basic step up. We're gonna be starting in three, two, one, take it up. So think about alternating your feet. 45 seconds, breathe. If you want, you can do a little jog, if that feels a little better. I'm gonna give you a few more advanced options the second time through. So, you pick where you wanna be. Breathe. 15 seconds. Heart should be pumping, moving the arms. If you used to go step class, I know, this reminds me of that, right? Last four, three, two, and relax. Catch your breath, roll your shoulders. We're gonna take it to those little taps. Let's we'll see if I can remember to get everything in. So core's in st and tight, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. So little taps. You can be here, higher impact, or you can keep it here. And then if you've got the space and you feel comfortable, you can move around right to left. It's up to you. Just like this. Or, again, it's a little bit of a soccer drill. You've seen soccer players just like this. 15 seconds. You do what's best for you. Breathe. Tap it over. Tap it over. Right. Last five. Four. Three. Two, and relax. Tap it out. Roll through those shoulders. 
let's go ahead and jump to our little isolations, right? So we'll take it here to the side, moving laterally. Here we go, tap it up and breathe, tap it. So we got 45 seconds each side, breathe and up. So you can keep it here or drive that knee up. So if you want a little extra, drive the knee to your chest or take it a little quicker. It's up to you. You have this option. That leg is gonna burn either way. So you can stay slow and controlled. You're still gonna get the cardio. You're still gonna get the strength. Breathe. For four, three, two, relax, tap it out. Take it over to that other side. Roll those shoulders, now that one's burning. Let's make this one burn. Breathe for just a second. Starting in three, two, one. Step it up, take it down. Start slow and breathe. You're just like this here. And breathe. If you want, drive that knee up to your chest. Squeeze it here or quick taps either with the knee or without. Weight in the heel. Here we go, let's make it burn. Good. No shame in taking it slower. You're still gonna get the cardio. You're still gonna be strengthening and toning legs, glutes, inner outer thighs. You know it. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Tap it out, right? Catch your breath. Let's take it over the top. So breathe, you're just stepping over and step it over whenever you're ready. Here we go, 45. Step it over, nice and slow. Good. You can make it a little more of a hop step. It's up to you. Breathe. Or just a step, whatever works for you. Breathe. Since my timer on my iPad went out, that was also my list of exercises. So I'm going by memory. We may leave a few out, we might get some extras, who knows? Either way, we're getting a cardio workout, right? Real life people. Last one, catch your breath. Good. Let's turn it here to the side. So let's go ahead and get that other leg ice isolation so core is in tight here weight in the heel wall if you need it ready here we go breathe so same thing here if you want to take it a little quicker or if you want to bring that knee up for a little extra slow or fast watch that balance remember we want the balance but we also want that leg to work so if you need the wall totally fine if you feel good here Keep it here. If your BOSU has more air than mine, like it should, you're gonna be fine with this. Breathe. 15 seconds, little taps, slow or fast, or knee up. Doesn't have to be a full lunge unless you want it to. For three, two, one. Tap it out right here. Breathe. Let's get that other side. Other leg up. How's your heart rate? I'm really feeling mine. I hope you are too. Breathe it here. Ready. Here we go. Taps. Start slow. Bring it up. And then as you're ready, you can bring that knee in slow or fast. Again, use that wall for balance or just tap, tap or knee. Drive into the heel. Think about that core pulled in. Heart is pumping. We're getting the arms working just through the movement, but our little isolation is our legs, right? Again, quads and hamstrings, glutes, inner, outer, strengthening the knees and the hips and the ankles. Really great for keeping ourselves mobile and feeling good. That's why you see BOSU a lot in physical therapy. Four, three, two, relax. Whoo, roll those out, good. Work team. All right, 
Let's take it to here. So little taps, straddle it here. Remember we're here. And then if you want, run it up, run it out. Start with just your taps. I'm gonna give you one more option on this one. You're starting here and then right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. If you want, you can take it a little bit of a box jump. Totally up to you. Watch how I land. Landing with my knees bent, landing with my knees bent. Or keep it here or in the middle, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Up to you. Again, I want you to be where you are today. As long as you're moving and you're safe, that's all that matters to me. Your legs are still working. Your arms are still working. Most importantly, your heart is still working, right? Tap it out. Turn to the side. Breathe. Catch your breath. All right, team. Here we go. So little taps down. Bring it up. So remember, we're going to start with that. Here we go. Up and down. <coughs> You can go up on the toes if you want a little extra. And then if you really want that extra, pop it back, pop it up. Make sure you're getting out to that full plank. So watch me here, team. It's not just this. Pop it to here, pull that core in tight, pop it up, bring it up. Also totally fine to walk it out, walk it in, right? Breathe, walk it out, walk it in or jump it out, jump it in, and good, or stay here, you got five seconds, four, three, two, relax, all right, should we flip it over, <clears throat> I think we should, catch your breath, we're going to take it, bringing it up to start, ready, squat it down, here, and up, here and down, here and up. If you want, as you drop it down, jump it back, push it up, jump it in, bring it up, or walk it back, push it up, or either one of those on your knees. So you can be here, walk it back, drop to your knees, here, pop it up, keep it going. 15 seconds. Any of those options, just up and down, up and down, pop it back to a push up, or walk it down, back to a push up, whatever that push up is for you. Last four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Catch your breath, get a quick sip of water. Do we get them all? I feel like we left one out. Who knows? Either way, our heart is pumping. Should we get one last little bonus move? I think we should. Let's go ahead and flip it over. We're gonna stay right here, bring it down. Last little bonus move. You are up. You can stay on all fours or knees or toes. We're gonna go right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Start with that. Let's just go 30 because then we might do a second pause move. I know, here we go. Take it down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. If you're on your knees, you're here. Down, down, up, up. We just wanted to sneak in a little extra arms or knees right here is fine too. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Whatever is best for you, but you got 10 seconds. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Four, three, two, stretch it back. Let's keep that core working. One last set of 30. We're here. Little jacks out. Here we go. Jack in and on your elbows. If you want, you can do little taps here to here or stay on your knees. Tap it back and out and in. Tap it back and out and in. All those options work. 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Keep that core pulled up and in. Nice and light. Knees are soft for four, three, two. Relax and stretch. <sighs> right? You did it. So go ahead, stretch it back in the child's pose. I hope you're sweating as much as me. Let your head drop into that. Good. 
and go ahead and bring your feet up. Hinge at the hips, keep a soft bend in the knees, let your head and neck relax, and then just pedal those feet. Just lift and lower, slowly roll it up, right? <laughs> Grab one foot, put it on the BOSU, press that heel down, you'll really feel that hamstring and calf. You might feel a little bit of that tomorrow because those guys worked hard, keeping you stable. Make sure you check out my other BOSU videos. I've been making more. I have one with dumbbells. We have a full body cardio and strength. I have a core and I'll be doing more. So check that out. One hand up, grab if you can and breathe. Totally fine to be here too. And other side. Swing out those arms. As always, get more of a stretch and a cool down on your own. One big deep breath in and out. If you liked it, make sure that you subscribe. And if you want a little more structure, check out my programs and eBooks. In the description, you'll find the link, including my nutrition guide. You did it. That was your BOSU cardio workout. Great job, everybody.